Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to SUNY Cortland here in Cortland, New York, as the Bronxville Broncos take on the Lewiston Porter Lancers in what is sure to be a dynamite contest. Bronxville from Westchester County, just outside of New York City, Lewiston Porter just 15 miles from Niagara Falls and therefore the Canadian border. A shot punched out by Millie Koenig. And now Sophie R. on the attack. Tries to set up a one-timer, but she trips! Sarah Woods tripped in the wet conditions out there. Bronxville may be on the back foot, but they're on the back foot in the same way that, say, someone's on the back foot when they're swinging a baseball bat. That's where you generate power <sighs> That's from. That's right. The only way to defeat a defense like this is simply to make it a numbers game. You just have to keep attacking and attacking and attacking, and eventually you get enough shots on goal. Something's going to give sooner or later. Yeah. But Tessa Shuey would push it out temporarily. Hoffman dives out of the way. It's heading towards a goal, and it's just to the left. Lewiston Porter can take a deep breath and relax for a moment because that was about as close as it comes to being an unattended goal. But now it's a corner kick for Bronxville, so they can't quite exhale just yet. It'll be taken by Lily Jabezian, co-captain of this team. She is a five-year veteran. And Hoffman dives on it in the middle of the scrum. Great teamwork as you could see one of her defenders taking a look. Hey, are you okay? Because a lot of people just fell on you. Always good to look out for your teammates. And another scoring chance for Bronxville secured by Rebecca Hoffman. She didn't have a hand on it right at first, but she was able to gather it up just in time. At this halftime break, you have to be thinking, all right, let's absorb what we've seen, take what we can learn, and see if we can find a hole in one of these defenses. Oh, here you go. And Lupor might have, but not quite, coming out of nowhere, saving the day is Molly Krastinski. Coming towards the goal and scooped oh up by Koenig right at the line. That corner kick was almost a shot on goal. The last time I went to Westchester County, you know how every parent says, when I was your age, I had to walk a mile uphill through the snow, through the woods to get to school? Yeah. Well, I actually went back with my parents to find the trail that they walked to school, and they did actually walk a mile through the woods, uphill wow. through the snow. All that time you didn't believe them. I was there. I've got photos. There was a creek and everything. <laughs> There's going to be a winner one way or another. Yeah. You can't split the trophy in half. Yeah. Imagine if you could, though. Would they have to, like, take it apart every year just in anticipation? Would it fit together like a jigsaw? Yeah, you don't have to answer that. It doesn't good, work. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not worthy of an answer. <laughs> So far, these two teams, it hasn't exactly been like the unstoppable force and the immovable object. It's just been two immovable objects, and they're staring each other down because they're not moving. It's like two concrete walls face-to-face -face next to each other. Sooner or later, someone's going to have to learn how to pick up a sledgehammer. Luport got a police escort. Oh, my gosh. Their team bus got a police escort to this game. Speaking of Rockstar, the first goal of the game goes to the Bronxville Broncos. CeCe Jablonski, the senior, had a goal in the semis and now a goal in the championship. Oh, and a little bit of frustration there from Sarah Woods throwing the ball, and you can hear the crowd. They're loving it. Well, this is just about everything that sports is all about. The tension, the frustration, the drama, and, of course, a shiny trophy at the end of it all. We all just want a big, shiny trophy. Who doesn't? I mean, it's shiny. What more do you want? Maybe bigger and shinier? A World Series trophy, a Super Bowl trophy, you treat it gingerly. Stanley Cup? Eh, let's drink out of it. That's right. Let's take it on planes. <laughs> let's give it to people to hold, you know? Let's throw it around, drop it. Who cares? We can have that fixed. 